Hello and welcome to the talks for A-Level Physical Education and BTEC Sport here at Rad Valley School. My name is Paul Davis and this is Ellie Brown. I'd like to take you through the A-Level Physical Education course first, if I may. Um, it's a two-year course that we run and if you come to us, to us next year, then your exam will be in June 2023. Um, the course is made up of there it is. The course is made up of four different elements. Three of them are theory based. Um, so you see here we've got the physiological factors, that's the science behind everything that we do. You've got the psychological factors, that's what's going on in the mind. Um, and then you've got the social cultural issues, the so things that go on in society that we bring into this course. All three of those you see are examined at the end of the course. So there's three separate exams, one to two hour, one to one hour, and then the last one's an hour or two. The separate part of it is the fourth area, so this is the performance base in physical education. And we'll ask you um, to perform in one chosen activity, but I've got a bit more to come about that later on. So just a little bit more detail about those theory um, sections. Sorry, just going to quit there. Uh, if we're talking about the science part, the science part is still split into applied anatomy and physiology, exercise physiology, and some biomechanical movement. So you can see some of the types of um, topics that you'll be covering. If you've done GCSE, PE, or if you're currently doing it now, many of these are just extensions of that topic. We just add a bit more depth and a bit more detail to them. The second area is the psychological, there we go. Um, the psychological um, aspect. So here we're looking at skill acquisition. How do you learn as a performer? What's best for you? We're also looking about the psychological factors. So what's your personality? What sport are you more suited to? Are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? What happens to you when you go across that line to play sport? Are you someone who's quiet and meek and mild off the court, but maybe ferocious and tenacious and feisty when you play on the court? So we look at all those different scenarios within the psychological side of it. And then the third theory area um, is sport and society. So these are things where we talk about mob games, we talk about cheese rolling, we talk about the Olympic Games and other global sporting events. And we almost do a little bit of a timeline so that we can see what sports used to be like and how we can bring that up to date into modern day sport. Okay, so just as a quick whistle stop tour. In terms of the performance, as I said, it's one activity. You're performing that activity, you also need to do another part of a non-exam and assessment, and that's analysing another person's performance. That doesn't have to be the same activity, often it will be, because that's where your knowledge base is, but it might be watching someone else from a different sport too. So you'd be asked to analyse, give some feedback on their strengths, on some weaknesses, and then come up with an action plan to overcome what you think that major weakness is. In terms of the performance side, there is a bit of a, a, a strict list of what you can and cannot do. Um, so if the activity that you want to do is not there, then unfortunately it's not one that we can assess you in. Um, and this is just coming from OCR, which is our specification that the people that we follow have this set list. Okay, so the activity has to be from one of those. Okay, I'm gonna hand you across to Ellie Brown, who's gonna talk to you about the BTEC Sport course. Hello. The BTEC Sport is worth two A levels. It's a level three course. Um, it's a full time programme of study and gives the pupils opportunities to develop a range of techniques, personal skills, and attributes. It combines practice activities with academic study. These are the topics that we'll be covering um, over the two years. You can see there are three exams in there, and we try and spread them over the two years. So, one of them will be done in the January of year 12 one done at the end of year 12, um, and then one done in January of year 13. The rest of the units are all assessed via coursework. So we design the assignment tasks based on the students we've got in front of us, um, and based on how we can make them as interactive as possible. So these are some of the ways that they may have to produce evidence in their assignment tasks. We try and make the course as practical as possible. It is a vocational course. So these are some of the ways that we're doing practical within the course in their lessons. So they are assessed in um, practical sports as well. They're assessed in an individual sport and a team sport. Um, and they're gonna pass merit or distinction according to how they fit the criteria in those sports. 
The sports they can choose in the BTEC sport are a lot broader um, than potentially the, the A level. There isn't a list. Um, they can basically, as all these show evidence, can have evidence for any sport um, as long as it is a uh, umpired or officiated sport. We also like to take the students off-site into the workplaces, being vocational, or get speakers in. Um, a couple of the units of study are about business in sport and about careers in sport. So we've had a lot of people come in and talk about their careers um, and if they, uh, how their career works as a business, because that works towards their um, exam unit as well. So people like sports nutritionists, strength and conditioning coaches, but a sportswear designer come in. Um, trying to get them into places like the public and private sports facilities, looking at the difference, because then they'll have to write up an assignment about that after they've been there. Um, it is assessed on the same playing field as A-level, obviously because it's worth two A-levels, it's just double the, the UCAS points at the end, but in terms of what equivalent to a D-star is equivalent to an A-star. Okay. It just depends on how you as a learner learn. Are you good at sitting exams? or is your strength in your coursework? If it's strength is in your coursework, then maybe this is the course for you. Um, both the courses give equal access to higher education and prepare them for, uh, students for university. Obviously, you've got the A-level, preparing them for the exam process that they do at university, and the BTEC prepares them for the writing assignments they're going to have to do at university, because we use the Harvard references system within the assignments. Content is both equally relevant. Popular courses that students have done at university, um, down here, midwifery, nursing, sports coaching, sports development. Less of the science to do a BTEC course um, because the course we've chosen not to do units that are um, particularly sciencey. We've left that to the A level to make the courses different in our school. We also believe that um, both courses equip the students for other things. They don't want to go to higher education, apprenticeships, um, we've had people go to Wessex Water, Rotary Engineering, or straight into the workplace, leisure centres, management training schemes, things like that, are other places that our students have been to. Thank you for listening to our talks. If you do have any questions, if you'd like to email either of us um, at those addresses, we look forward to hearing from you.